Hello everyone, thank you so so very much for making it for this video. I'm so glad that you're here for three reasons. The first one is it's my first time using this basket because we're going to be doing a harvest video today and um, I got this as part of a Christmas present. So I'm just really happy to repurpose it because it was filled with like stuff and now I get to have a new basket. It's kind of cool and um, the second reason is that it's my first time in a while doing a harvest video at all on the channel or just just at all um it's been some time and the third reason is that this is my first harvest video in this new garden that i started a few months ago it's a small harvest video a few things that i have growing here and I'll, i'm just really happy to show you what i have growing the things that i'm able to harvest in a place that's fully concreted out no kind of land here at all everything in containers and buckets and um just still able to have some kind of garden growing here really happy i really hope that you all enjoy this video and i hope that you learn something from this video let's just go in it's a bit unfortunate but i don't have my usual garden shears with me for when i harvest so i'm just going to be using my hands it's a bit um not as neat not as clean but um it's just the way that it goes sometimes because um i just can't find it right now i don't probably take too long to go and look for it and the sun is setting so we're going to be doing this by hand this pak choy on this lettuce from this one container is probably half of the half is video so you could probably just see this and be Halfway done with the entire thing. I'm going to be rooting it out from this part here. Oh. I like my pak choy not overly um, hard, right? So probably would have been um, cutting this out from there, but yeah. So sort of um, fairly um, still soft um, pak choy, bit um, damaged from grasshoppers. I think that we have in this garden here. So um, it's you know has a few holes in it, but that's how you know it's organic and um. This is just the best in um, salad, um, soup salad. Of course, you could just do a regular fry with tomatoes and onions. Gonna uproot some of this lettuce as well. Some of these are really ready to go, so and I don't want them to start to bolt on me, um, even though they probably have just a little bit. So, just gonna get them like this. Up. Yeah. There you go. Nice. I'm going to get a few leaves of this celery. This is the same um, container that I had used um, in the garden of the road, but um, I brought it down here and it's doing more or less the same job. So, really happy to do that and get some fresh celery from the garden there. Um, Yeah, don't judge me on this, but um, oh, cauliflower. I'm just gonna yank it out this way here. I do need use of this container as well, so oh, all right. So there we are. Fairly tragic the way I had to manhandle it, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, collie. There's a little one inside here as well. I don't think it's gonna get much bigger, so I'm just gonna harvest it out. These didn't get. As big as I wanted, but that's what happens sometimes. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna stir fry. We had some tomatoes or whatnot, but they've gone out out of commission now. Now I do have some more leafy greens to harvest, but like this one here that's doing so nice, this would be really good to leave it to get a bit bigger. But I'm not really leaving it for that purpose. I'm leaving it because I'm gonna make a soup on Saturday. And I love putting a little bok choy in a soup just as it's about to finish. Just a few leaves of this, just at the top, just let it simmer for like 30 seconds. So it has a little bit of crunch in it, and that'll just be perfect. So that little harvest will take place probably I'll show you it on TikTok on Saturday. But um, I'll just keep this back here. You can see the fresh genie leaves, it's a really nice tender leaf. This one is a bit harder. Um, so this one should be cooked. This one could eat pretty much raw at this point here. I'll get a bit more lettuce. See, this is the bronze lettuce, a bit different to the regular Batavia lettuce, that kind of jagged leaf. So, these didn't do so well inside these containers here, these had to bolt and whatnot, so let's harvest them out. Something that's doing really well, and as you would expect, is this scythe. These are old scythe from kitchen cuttings that will just save you so much of money because it's pretty much cut and come again. You see how high I harvest them? Just about here. And you should harvest them when they get like overgrown like this, otherwise they will just bend and break and you know, if you break them up 
and you harvest from them then they keep on growing back so the more you harvest the more you get basically if you don't harvest you don't really get more because they have a limit to how high they will keep on going it doesn't just keep going and going and going now this would have been really perfect to have my chairs to just hold it up and trim it but you know doing a caveman style today apparently there we are there you go okay a bit more let's just see it you know what i don't think i want to stress myself over that okay we're not looking too bad already just want to show you all these um this okra here this is a example of a hard okra so you can have this you could but it wouldn't be good like if you were to cook it it'd be really slimy the way that you know that it's hard is if you try to break the tip off see that normally if it was soft as in the okra was good for eating then this entire thing would just snapped off basically the way it's bending like that that means the fibers are really hard and overgrown so the best thing to do is when i do get my pliers i'll get it sometime this evening and um i'll just cut this off and just let the plant keep on growing because even though it's in a small container that needs to get some water it can grow it's just i didn't catch this in time okra grows and matures so so fast same thing um happened over here but um i got rid of um there was okra somewhere here that i got rid of but it's my first like actual like um kind of long termish crop um that is producing in this garden here inside of this container I had um, taken all this to put my hand in just like this because I can't see everything. I had put in some radish. Oh, there was a lizard there. Okay, cool. Up. So I don't think it did so so well. It's a bit overgrown at this point here. Whenever you see radish growing like this, uh, see like this, it was, took too long to harvest it, so it just started to um to grow down a bit more. Um, this is not like ideal, so. It's kind of a waste here um the leaves have people have said that is edible i'm not eating these leaves i i tried them already it tastes very good um but yeah these are grown from seed this one is kind of tempting me to probably see what i could get from it probably like in a salad or something it does look kind of weird no you know what no it's not with it it's not with it um yeah i'll just throw that in the compost pile but what i did come in the back here for is this tomato plant that a cherry tomato see tomatoes on it here pretty much falling off such a rewarding thing when you get cherry tomatoes in your garden this is a perfect way to finish off any little harvest that you're doing i also had put in some things like some cauliflower and whatnot inside here but i think in the back this back garden because i'm getting used to this space it's just not um getting enough sunlight and also um it's also getting light in night time, which can stress out the plants, as you all know. So, it's probably not the best place to put cauliflower, for instance. Yeah, pop a color. There we go. We have got some sunflowers coming up. These are branching sunflowers, and you can just imagine how excited I am for these. There's another one over here branch and sunflower so excited i want to show you all i know that you all have seen my um harvest video of ginger but this is an example like how you expect your ginger leaves to look when it is pretty much getting to the point of being ready to be harvested but I, as i have said when you harvest your ginger you don't have to like empty the entire bucket and take everything out all in one go because ginger will grow sort of like the rhizome will grow around like this and each part of the rhizome will send up shoots so you could very easily harvest out just a piece of the rhizome or whatever is going down there and leave the rest to grow and the green shoots that come out from the rest of it will produce um, more root underneath then eventually grow back in the space that you harvest it from so you can do a kind of cut and come again with your ginger as you look in the bottom here you can see that the ginger head is coming up so like my plan was really to harvest too much of ginger but just this part here where the leaves are it smells so good. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's really good. So I'll just pull this up a little bit. I'm going to show you all what I have on me here. I'll just dig down, really. I'm just going to dig down and show you. Let's put my hand here. So we have some young root, we have some older roots. So. Right, so just as I go down, and you can already see all of this is pretty much ginger like 
on each here so I could now let's break a look at finger right this is how much money if you go in the market for a handful of ginger like this times a year ginger sells so so expensive and just in a little bucket like this where you can you know re reuse a uh, paint bucket just think about how much ginger this is just a small little corner that we took and all here you've got ginger all on this side here you have ginger just in one bucket over here this is um well, saffron which you know is also turmeric is known as turmeric um these are these leaves are starting to dry i don't really plan on harvesting it i don't want to dirty up the entire thing there but as we're here I'll just give a little glance of see if i can find anything just on the top yeah okay so let's take off one shoot oh. Oh. it's kind of hard and um it's really rooted down there but maybe i can get it's a little bit to come up yeah wow right so there we go saffron this is how saffron grows this is what saffron looks like this is what the leaves look like when they're about to be ready and here we are and honestly this could be left even longer so i will just stick down stick this down inside here cover it back up that will be better after the video and um let's continue with this and i'll probably do a proper video on the saffron how to plant it and also harvest it and that kind of thing focus for me it's getting dark so it's hard for it to focus there you go okay Okay, I think I'll call it George there for this harvest video. Um, I dirtied up my hand and it's getting really dark now, really, just really, really fast. So um, just got some ginger, some saffron, some turmeric, which is, wasn't really planned to harvest today. But, um, you know, you, you get something, still have something. And um, just to show that you can just harvest a little bit and just keep the plant alive and to continue producing. So you're not always just using up the entire plant every time that you harvest and you have to plant back. But you can just use as much as you need. I mean, how much ginger does anybody really need at one go? And um, you, or even like saffron, right? So this like a little bit will go a really long way. And then of course, only here, we have the rest of our basket. Just really happy that, um, you know, these are green. So a little bit of, um, you know, these are one or two plants can like fill the entire thing. And it all obviously will be gone really, really fast as well. So I really hope that you have learned something from this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching this harvest video. Again, first time with this basket, first time, with this um backyard here fully concreted out um so just everything containers and first time in a while for have this video so um if you know somebody who'd be interested in seeing more um, gardening content and somebody who would be interested in growing their own homegrown organic food and learning more about how to do that then feel free to share this video and to share the channel with them let's help them out in the time we can all use any kind of help with growing our own food and being more self-sustainable and being able to produce our own food right at home in our backyard even if it's an apartment building even if you just have a little bit of space or just no land, just concrete, you can still do it. You can still 100% be self-sustainable in your property, wherever you have the space to do that. Remember that you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook. And feel free to follow, to tag us on any of those platforms because we're so happy when you tag us in your videos and your pictures of what's good on your garden to see what's happening. And it's just such an encouragement, such a motivation to see you all doing that. Remember, as always, this has been the Lone Trinity Garden Channel reminding you to get up and get growing. Take care.